How's the king and fellow Sam Otterson? This is another episode of Yakuza 4, and in today's episode, we're starting in a cutscene. Or can you even call this a cutscene? It's like a, a not pre rendered cutscene, doesn't feature any fucking voice acting, and also doesn't exactly have any animations. Let's count him bobbing forward and backwards an animation. Do you fucking do that when you stand still? You just kind of. When you breathe, you have to move your entire body. Also, the screen looks really dark. Don't adjust your screen because this is actually what the game does when you don't play it for long enough. It just dims. And it's like, why the fuck would it do that? It's like, I ain't playing the PS5 on a fucking... On the battery. It doesn't fucking have a battery. It just has an AC. Or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. It has a fucking charger. That's what it has. So why the fuck this feature? It's strange, I don't know. Could it be so that the TV actually uses up less electricity? That's very fucking thoughtful of them, if that's the case. Ah, whatever. What, you mean someone else killed those 18 men? I just, I really hate that. I wish I, I would just skip this entire fucking sequence. Pretend that this does, doesn't fucking take place. I mean, that this never happened, this plot revelation is fucking garbage and bullshit. It's the dumbest shit ever. I'm gonna say what well, officers were taken out by one of their own, Katsuragi. Not Saichima, apparently. Apparently he fucking... The shootout he caused and all these guns he got from who the fuck knows where he got them from. Rubber bullets, apparently. Even though we saw blood and people fucking dying. No, that's rubber bullets. I don't know what the fuck, man. It's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in this entire fucking franchise. And this franchise is full of dumb shit. Remember how in Yakuza 2 there was just like a golden castle that showed up out of nowhere? And that wasn't as stupid as this. Though that was probably the wildest moment in all of the series. Like, that never gets explained. Like, where the fuck did the, a giant castle just came out of nowhere? Literally just came out of the ground. You wanna say, well, whatever the fuck, then yes, because my brother is innocent? Well, he did carry out the attack, so he's far from innocent. There's a big difference in sentencing for murder and attempted murder. Was this Katsuragi also responsible for killing your father? Couldn't get an answer out of him. And she... Chief of police all of a sudden gets involved and... Nah, fucking no. Also, what was that? fade to black because they changed the camera angle either way Tani Murakun that stunty pult had me worried half to death got a call from Tsuguichi kun and homicide telling me that you were trying to contact the Wernasewa so I took it upon myself to, re to search for you before you wound up in danger which ended up happening anyway so that's why you're here Tani Murakun you must have some in Inclination as to how dangerous the Wenosewa clan is right now. Are you even aware of the gravity of the situation? By the way, the Wenosewa actually comes back in in the new one, in Gaiden. Though they don't play any fucking major role so far in the story. I don't know if they will come back in the story later, but so far they really just... I don't know, they almost feel like just a, just a reference. That they still exist and are still around. My fucking god. I was thinking if, if fucking Yakuza 8 takes place in America, that wouldn't guns be more prevalent? I don't know if people of Hawaii just fucking walk around strapped like they fucking live in Detroit or some shit, but... It's crazy to imagine Hawaii is actually part of America. I mean, USA. It's fucking... It's a completely different fucking mentality there. It's much nicer. Should have been its own country. Got a drink here. It's called Tiger Not Today. Not Today. Could it be an energy drink that's actually not flavored? I don't see on the can anything about what flavor it is. Though if it's a fucking nut flavor, that would be a first. I think. It smells like garbage. Doesn't taste like garbage, but I cannot fucking tell you what it tastes like. It's 
strange fucking flavor. It's pretty cool though. For some, for some fucking reason, there's no water running in my fucking house today, so... I was playing with my dog earlier, and I just have just have this feeling of having dirty fucking hands. It's really pissing me off. It's fucking god awful. But more or less... I was already fucking tired, I was even thinking that maybe I should just go to sleep early today and not record these videos, but... Then I was like, I'm fucking lacking behind with my videos, like very fucking much I should just fucking make myself do it you know not waste any fucking time of my day well at least the Katsuragi seems to know something about your father's killing killer sounds like progress to me yeah I guess that's one way to look at it why the long face finally have a promising lead something that Katsuragi said had been bugging me what was that the police covered up the truth about the massacre in 1985. They knew the real killer was Katsuragi, but they pinned it all on Seijima. Is it pronounced Seijima or Seijima? I don't fucking know. I keep fucking using one or the other. What? None of this rings spell, Chief? No, I'm not in homicide, and back then I was a low, I was as low on the totem pole as it gets. Fair enough. Were the police trying to protect Katsuragi? If so, why? Who knows? They obviously couldn't let a scan scandal like that go to public. But it's a scoundrel. I ain't got nothing to fucking tell you, to be honest. No interesting stories. Work was... Alright. Starting to really... Get depressed again. Oh, I fucking hate it. It's nothing motivating me to do shit. I spent a lot of money recently. I bought myself some shoes, fucking Martins, really nice boots. I was like, I ain't got no fucking winter shoes. I'm keep walking around in some fucking sneakers. It's fucking snowy outside. And I wanted to buy some cheaper ones, but for fuck's sake, they couldn't. There was no fucking shoes that I really like that would be for a reasonable price, and they would have my size. You know, speaking of shoes, I got new shoes at my workplace, too. And holy shit. It's like my fucking feet are killing me now because the fucking shoes don't fit me quite right. Like, the length is fine, but the width, width is fucking awful. Is that a real word I just used? I don't fucking know. I just thought of something. Maybe we could dig something up at headquarters. Oh, yeah. How? Archive room 14 on basement level 3, the so-called forbidden room. Forbidden room? Ah. That's right, also known as the S Scandal Graveyard. All records of police misconduct over the years supposedly end up there. I saw the rumor goes. Aren't you the chief of police? Shouldn't you fucking know that? <laughs> Interesting. Maybe you just might find something useful. Is he the chief of police? I don't fucking know who this guy is. Some police officer. And Tony Moore, I called him Chief. <laughs> but is he like the Chief of Police? I don't fucking know. Who cares? Yeah, so well, it could all simply be a rumor. Still worth a, sh worth a shot, in fact. I'm all over it. Now hold your horses, Tony Moore, cool, and think about it. Archive 13 is smack dab in the middle of headquarters. A rookie like you can't just go strolling in there without permission. Never plan on asking. I mean, we're dealing with someone who can cover up mass murder. Doubt they've been killing, keen on giving me access to the evidence. You serious about this, Machan? Tanya Moore Kuhn? Hey, no, nothing. What? So, are we all ready to go? Oh, wait, we? Is it you and me? Of course. Us community safety boys gotta stick together, right? Besides, I've only been to HQ maybe once or twice. Probably couldn't find this archive even if I tried. But you know what? Right where it is, don't you, Chief? <laughs> what? No, I. Well, I mean, yes, but. But be that as it may. Great, and I'll be counting on you. Who is this old man? I don't fucking know. Head to police HQ. He looks. Raggedy as fuck. Let's go, I can get there by taxi. If I gotta take care of before we go to HQ. On second thought. 
I kind of forgot something. I got like a million side quests to do. I'm sorry, Chief. I can't fucking come with you until like the next episode. I ain't got nothing going on. Damn, but I remember there was a... There was a side quest for Tony Moore. I tried to kill himself or something like that. I don't remember where the fuck is it. And I don't really feel like fucking doing it. You know what? Hold on. Ah, oh, shit. I pressed the wrong fucking thing. Sure, I'm all set. Yeah, but we are on cab fare. Headquarters might start asking questions if you file an expense report. It's, it's not like it's a big fucking deal. Look how much cash I got. Take us to a strip club. Gotta liven up this fucking episode. Ooh, nice. Shaders. I take it back, they're actually kind of ugly. Well, I got to walk around in the fucking place. It's creepy. It's spooky. It's creepy and it's spooky. Look at that giant fucking tome. Nope. Ain't it? Just some ninjutsu fucking secret techniques. Not for worry. Of my attention. You know what? I was playing fucking Dungeon Rock. And not Dungeon Rock, but Jesus fucking Christ. Phoenix Wright recently, and there was a scene just like it where we went to police archives to look for clues and these like two let's plays are starting to fucking be the same not it it's crazy there was even some references to fucking phoenix right in this game it's fucking funny as fuck well it's this even here it's just a bunch of fucking porn magazines what the fuck the forbidden room yeah right i found it you did? Yeah, I mean, I looked at a book and it looks cool. The Assault of Yoshiharu Ueno. Case Overview. The attempt of whatever the fuck life was carried out on April 21st, 1985. Shortly after 12 noon that day, a lone gunman armed with six revolvers burst into a ramen shop located in Tokyo Sug Suginami Ward. Yoshihi Haruweno, chairman of the Wen Sable clan, was one of the 20 men shot inside, and one of the two who survived. The gunman was one Taiga Seijima, a 20 year old member of the Toj clan. Man, I wish I was fucking huge at 20. The fuck is he eating to be this fucking big? Look how motherfucking insanely enormous he is. Fucking. He's great. On the day of the incident, when I had just been released after serving a two-year prison term, with him were several top members of his clan. See, they said one of the two survivors was uh, the patriarch, right? So I guess they're not counting Seijima as the survivor of the shooting. So that's the story I'm willing to actually believe. That you know that guy we talked to last episode. He's the one who survived, and his boss survived too. And then he's the one who actually killed his boss in the process. Because maybe he wanted Seijima to kill all of these people except for him. So maybe he like... Maybe he covered boss with his body on purpose, just so Seijima would shoot him in his body, and not his head. So he took a huge risk, because he had body armor or something. And he just pretended to be dead. Because obviously he did, because we fucking met him last episode, he's still alive. And if the boss survived as well, then he could have been the one who finished him off. If Saijima failed to kill the boss, right? So I'm willing to accept this version of it. That Saijima did kill everyone in this fucking place, except those two. That support is missing something. Just like Katsuragi said, according to him, he should be the one who the one listed as the killer but that's all there is but all that's here is the part Saijima played investigation Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department formed a special investigation team led by the detectives Taigi Tanimura and Junji Shuguichi that's supposed to be Tanimura's dad it just looks like him with a different haircut I guess that makes sense Dad and Tsukuichi, they worked the case together. I haven't I heard this before. What the hell's going on? That's a detective who saved us last episode, I think. Is it? Where the fuck is Date? Why isn't Date in this chapter? He would be a perfect fit. 
Yeah, actually, what the fuck? Why isn't he, he in this? He'd be awesome. What did you find out? What than I expected. Let's go. What already? Yeah, I have a good lead. No point in wasting any more time here. Are we looking for Suguichi? I ain't got no fucking clue what to do. Chief, we have a few things I need to check out. Why don't I see you later? That's fine, I'll be back at the station if you need me. Just don't do anything crazy, you hear? Your father wouldn't want you going out guns blazing over this. My feet are killing me, my back is killing me. I think I'm gonna die. Kinda want to fucking die. I think I'll head back to Homeland for now, I need some time to digest all this. I need to take a wicked shit. No side quests? I guess I will go back. I mean, I could be doing all these dumbass fucking... ...things on the bottom of the screen. You know, the reports of crimes. But those are fucking lame, I don't want to do them. And also, I really want to get to Tony Moore chapter as fast as I can. Then we're gonna have a chapter, who, I don't know if his chapter is long. I can't quite remember how that one played out. I forgot this game's about fighting. Puzzle game was a visual novel all about solving crimes and puzzles and shit. It's like a puzzle game. Some people say. Damn it, what was that bullshit? What game was that about? Fuck, I forgot. Someone was comparing that there was like a game. Fuck, I can't remember what is it though. But someone said that it's actually. A lot like a puzzle game. Though in my opinion they just want it to sound cool and it's not at all like a fucking puzzle game. I can't fucking remember, I don't really give a shit either so... Let's go to Homeland. Just gonna hope and I would find that other side quest. I mean we can still finish up all the side quests we missed at the end of the game. But fucking, I wanted to finish them up while I was actually playing as the characters. Only side quests are fucked up, and I can't finish as Nakiyama's. It's like it's like a one one side quest as him that I fucked up. Watch on your back. How the things go? Well, I found the case report for the hit. He did. What did it say? A lot of stuff I already knew. Plus one new piece of info. Oh. Tsubichi was investigating that case, along with my dad. Tsubichi? The same one that's always giving you hell back at the station? Mm-hmm. I talked to him more times than I can care to remember, but never once me he never once mentioned being on a case with my dad. That's despite him knowing how bad I want the truth. That's not the worst of it, either. I'm starting to believe someone on the force did my father in. That Suragi says as much when we met yesterday. Another officer? Things just keep getting better, huh? I'm starting to think Suguichi is actually evil and not at all on my side. Seriously. Why don't you call it a day, Machan? Even you need to rest at some point. You're right. I think I'll knock out for a while. I mean, I'd fucking do that. Foot on? This is fucking uncomfortable as fuck to sleep on. I wanna sleep on a big, nice, comfy bed. Not a fucking futon. Save the game? No. Continue without saving? Yes. Well, we're in chapter 4 already? That is the shortest chapter imaginable. It was like one episode. It was like half an episode long. Boy. They're usually fucking insanely long, and this one was just what? I was going to the station? That's it. We're going to launch an interview investig- in, What 
the fuck? Are you going to launch an internal investigation? Interview. Why did I fucking read it such? Not yet. There's something I need to do first. What? Don't tell me you're taking off with the money. Yeah, I'm totally skipping town. Actually, I'm taking it back to its original owner. Oh, who's that? Some of money launder, apparently. It's got an office on Ken Kaiji Street called Sky Finance. Can you imagine how much in interest 100 million yen would rack up if it just let it sit? Yeah, forget that. Couldn't we give it back to Sayako? Ah. Bye, match, and have a good day. I'll try. See you later. Fucking, I want, I like her. I want them to be together. I mean, Akiyama and uh, Sayako, they were nice. And then, and then Akiyama could have been Saichima's brother-in-law. That would have been so fucking funny. Could have been like a comedic duo, big fucking scary motherfucker and this laid-back businessman. I would have played a Yakuza game just about these two solving a fucking thing together. Like a Yakuza Zero. Except you actually have the characters interact with each other. Then you like play as them. Like one fight is this guy, one fight is that guy. I don't have any fucking side quests. They would have showed up on the map, right? So I ain't got nothing to do. Also, some people, I feel like, misinterpret that that very last scene in Yakuza 0 where Kiryu and Majima actually run into each other. I feel like that's not their first meeting, and for some reason Majima just already knew uh, Kiryu, because I think earlier in the game, when you have to fight Nishikiyama as Majima, he actually, he actually mentions how he knows them. So I think Majima actually was aware of Kiryu and Nishiki and knew them. Alright, so it's not like... So it's not like he was just found out who the fuck Kiryu is. And even when they meet on the street, I feel like they already met a couple of times before because we don't have an confirmation this scene happens immediately after the end of the game just happen to walk into each other what happened after that a fight ensued kind of a shame because Majima gets really downplayed after the third game I mean, he's the first boss of the third game and it's really cool good to see Akiyama again I haven't seen him in a while what is with the lighting in the fucking floor? Yeah, it was like a Tanimura appeared at the beginning and he was touching a dead body with his own hands. She never told him? I think she did tell him her real name. Man. I don't know, her decisions are strange. Like, she wanted the money to skip down, and for some reason she didn't. And just kept the money, didn't do anything with it. Like, what the fuck? So that's her story. She didn't tell you any of this? Nope, never asked. Figured it was something serious, but dang. Or enough to pull a hundred mil... Put a hundred millionaires in debt all to save your wrongfully accused brother on death row? Just wish she had come to me earlier. Might have saved her from going dark, down a dark path. Oh, brother. My reading abilities are fucking... Top notch. Sick fucking watch, Akiyama. Well, now that Katsuragi's broken his promise, we can at least put the money issue to rest. Here, I'm sure she wanted you to have yeah. this. Nah, I'm good. Wait, what? Saying I want to accept the money. We're straight. Okay, explanation, please. Regardless of how things went down, I want. I lent that money to her. Isn't it only right that she be the one who returns it? 
Where is she anyway? I don't know, wanted to leave a big gaping hole in your account? Detective, I have so much money I hardly know what to do with it. I'm not interested in making more. As for the hundred million, I couldn't give a rat's ass if I ever saw it again. Why? I wish I had problems like Akiyama does. You see, I only lend money to people I feel are worth investing in. That way I can see how my loan affects their life, and that's a much more meaningful reward than seeing numbers in a spreadsheet. Not sure I understand your logic, but okay. That's kind of a cool way to loan money to people. Like, you don't just loan money to someone who, I don't fucking know, has a drug addiction and needs more money for drugs. Point is, I'm not taking that money until she returns it in person. Where is she anyway? I want to see my girlfriend. Okinawa? Her brother was transferred to a prison there a few days ago. That's not fucking true. I thought Tony Mora said that as a fucking lie. Besides, Jima's not even in prison. He's in the same fucking city as we. She said she wanted to be near him on his execution date. I knew she was a keeper. What? Did I not mention? I fell for... What, like in love? Exactly. So I'd really like to see her again. Fortunately, that money's the only connection between us now. If I take it back from you, the connection is cut and I'll probably never see her again. Some say love lasts only as long as the money. Yeah, that's fucked up though. Pretty sad, huh? Almost as sad as this Ar Arai son business. Arai? Aren't you talking a bit too much? One second. I wanna play as Akiyama again. I forgot how to fuck to play as him. I haven't played as him in a, over half a year. Hello, Okiru-chan. How have you been? Found Arai son yet? What? Mishima? You mean the went a goon without a bullet in his head? Uh huh, yeah, alright. There is no change in the plan. Leave it to me, I'll get back to you, bye. Toodles. Love you. That guy's fucking name is Kiddo. It's funny shit ever. Who was that? I heard something about finding a Rai. Don't fucking eavesdrop, you fucking asshole. That was Kiddo, right? Right hand man. What? I might as well tell you now. I'm helping Kido find his boss, Arai. He's a good kid. Why? Because I can't afford to lose Arai, son. Shibata's boys are going nuts trying to find him. Trying to appease you and Asewa by handing him over. We have to find him somehow before they get their hands on him. Uh, of course, if that... If what you just said is true, I've been getting... I've been betting on the wrong horse. What's your connection with Arai anyway? I've been backing him up out of personal interest. I'm not a mob front or anything. Still, this whole thing's been a real kick in the sack. Would imagine Rai san will be in bed with Katsuraki. Never pegged him as the type to make a move like that. What exactly was that call about? Well, that Kido chan was looking for Rai san when he stumbled across the other Ueno goon. That's one fucking thing I don't really like about progressing very meaningful stories in this fucking episode. Because it just turns into me reading all the dialogue, and it's just fucking boring. I ain't saying anything interesting, I'm literally just reading shit on the bottom of the screen. That's all it is. I'm not fighting anybody, we're just sitting here talking about shit. You know, the one that disappeared after the shooting? There was another one? A guy named Mishima. He was a sworn brother with Ikara, the guy arrived ventilated downstairs. So what about him? He's asking for police protection. In exchange, he says he'll cough up all he knows. He wants the police? He wants a detective he can trust. Why well, I can protect him from the Wenosewa clan. What if it's gonna be me? I think you should go talk to him. Me? Yeah, you're a perfect fit. I mean, based on what you said, the force sounds like a total snake bit. You can't count on Suguichi san or your own superiors for a better person than you. Why should I? Who knows? I might get you a step closer to the truth you're looking for. How do you figure? The recent shooting between the Uenoseva clan and Kanamura Enterprises, right? I think 
got this hunch it's all connected to case your old man was working back in 85. This is too much overlap between the main players to be a coincidence. もし、あの荒井さんが裏で繋がっていた活動の命令で、あのドンパシ事件を作為的に起こしていたとしたら、まあ、どうして今になってそこまで指示されていたからか。アトワスタナチェン。その人間。ストディンフォーキンフォーギーバキヤマ。25年前の真実が公に<笑> どうするラテンベースラングエッジ。なら俺にとってこの山は自分の人生そのものなんだ。Shima's supposedly hiding, hiding over at the docks in Tokyo Bay. Your best bet is to take a taxi there, unless of course you have a fancy cop car. Thanks for the advice. Now to report my next move on the station. Hi, this is Tony Moore from Community Safety. Can I get someone in organized crime, please? Anyone there will do. Shut up, blah blah blah, just fucking get out of this fucking office. Oh. Alright, just be careful, good luck. Save the game, finish the episode. Wish I could have saved it at the fucking... his place. She was supposed to be hiding in a warehouse in the docks, getting there by a cab with the least attention. The fuck is this guy's deal? Yeah, Mishima, he's a blonde haired fuck everyone's on the lookout for. Find the main ACP. Damn it, quick fucking around. This is the priority, I don't care if we get killed. Alright, fuck it. Side quest? There is a side quest. And there's two side quests. Oh, we got content to do. Where the fuck is there a save point in this stupid fucking town? Now I got all the way there. Someone really fucked up by placing all these fucking safe phones. So fucking scarcely, like there's only five in this whole fucking city. There should have been at least ten. Kiwami has a bunch fucking more of them. What's wrong with this game? Didn't figure it out yet. Oh, maybe we should have put more fucking save points because it's not fun having to run all over the fucking city just to save the fucking game. Yeah, I can save the fucking game here. Can you please leave me alone? Oh, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Walked right into me. Instigated a fight. Ran in a circle after me and then fucking. Worst of all, he actually seems like a tough motherfucker. Never mind, I just took down like all his health down.
at least we got some fights in this episode. How many did we got into this fucking episode? One? Alright, this episode ain't that long. Only 45 minutes. Look at that cute lady looking over at this fucking fight. She probably thinks I'm super cool. Or a fucked up maniac. One of the two. Can you get out of the fucking shot? Thank you. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.